chanted A S M Hello everyone, welcome to Scented ASMR. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite fragrance categories, and that's powdery vanilla fragrances. This first one that I want to start with here. And this one is by Celine and it's called Black Tie. Celine has a really nice sophisticated presentation. nice box with the ribbon that wraps around the whole box. And the bottle is really nice and sophisticated as well. It's minimalistic, but it's very heavy and elegant. It has a nice cap. And this is a, a large bottle. It's a 200 ml bottle. So it looks like there's not much juice left. There's about 30 ml left in there, which is one ounce. And so, Black Tie was released in 2019. considered an amber woody fragrance and the notes are vanilla, orris, cedar, musk, and moss. And this is a very elegant and sophisticated vanilla. The auras in here makes it powdery and gives it kind of a buttery quality to the fragrance. It's um, a bit earthy. I get a lot of earthiness from that uh, the moss in here. And I feel like this isn't a very, actually, I don't get much sweetness at all. The vanilla is more of a non-sweet, non-gourmand vanilla. And it's woody and powdery. It's very unisex. Um, I think the opening to my nose, it leans a little bit masculine. But then when it dries down, it smells very unisex to me. And it sits very closely to the skin. So this is a nice fragrance to wear if you don't want to offend people around you. It's just very soft and 
unpleasant and so smooth and very well blended. This fragrance is really um, highly regarded in the fragrance community and that's for good reason. This is one of the most sophisticated vanillas I've ever smelled. And so that's Black Tie, and it's by Celine. And this next one that I have here, this is called Satin, and it's by the House of Lali. Lalique is a French glassware design house, so their bottles are usually really nice. I like this one. It's very feminine. And so, Sateen is considered an amber woody fragrance, and it was launched in 2013. And the perfumer is Natalie Lorson. The top notes are heliotrope, gardenia, and jasmine. The base, the mid notes, are tonka bean, vanilla, and pink pepper. The base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. This is a woody, powdery vanilla. It's very soft and feminine. And also has a little bit of spice to it from that pink pepper. I get some spiciness that kind of lasts throughout the whole wear of the fragrance. But it's like a peppery spiciness. It's powdery from the, the heliotrope and the tonka bean. And the vanilla is kind of a light, um, airy vanilla. And it's just very lightly sweet. I don't pick up any of the florals in here. But I do get the sandalwood and the vetiver. They help to round out the fragrance. This does have a vintage vibe, I think, and it kind of reminds me of like what a vintage vanity would smell like. Like a vanity that Full of makeup powder. That's the image I get from this. It's, it's so pretty and feminine. And it's an affordable fragrance too. I think you can usually get this for somewhere around $30. But probably not a safe blind buy just because it does have that vintage vibe to it. And 
So that's 13 by Lalique. This next one that I have here. This one is by A Lab on Fire. And it's called What We Do in Paris is Secret. She's in Paris. Interesting bottle, too. Like a long ceramic bottle. So what we do in Paris is considered a floral fruity fragrance. It was launched in 2012 and the perfumer is Dominic Ropion. The top notes are honey, lychee, and bergamot. The mid notes are heliotrope, vanilla, and rose. Base notes are tonka bean, toyu balsam, amber, and cedar wood. And this is another powdery vanilla scent. The main notes that I pick up in here are an ultra powdery heliotrope and a soft, fluffy, but also a little creamy vanilla. I also get that um the honey that's in here, it's a, uh, it adds some sweetness and some warmth to the fragrance. But it's not a sticky or syrupy honey. It just adds a sweetness. And the base notes, they add some warmth to the fragrance. And I pick up an almond smell in here, although there is no almond. I'm wondering if maybe that's coming from the uh, tonka bean. A lot of people seem to pick up the lychee in here, but I don't get anything that's fruity. I don't get the lychee at all. But this is just a really nice, warm, powdery vanilla fragrance. It smells a little bit like a, like a doll to me. Like if, if you smell that powdery vanilla doll scent. That's kind of what I get from him. And I like that. And so that's what we do in Paris is Secret, and it's by A Lab on Fire. And this next one that I have here, and this one is by Aaron, and it's called Tangier Fini. Aaron always 
has some pretty caps on her bottles. They look kind of like a, like a stone or a jewel. And then if you look at the very, like, dark, deep, dark, um, color that's in of the juice, it's, um, means there's a lot of natural vanilla in here. Because when there's natural vanilla, the color of the juice will get darker as it ages. I think this one was some kind of a limited edition bottle because they don't all have that flower painted on here. Germany is considered an amber fragrance and it was released in 2016. The top notes are vanilla, bergamot, and rose. The mid note is amber. And the base note are sandalwood and musk. And this is a powdery, ambery vanilla. It's very soft and warm and sophisticated. It's a resinous vanilla, but it's not thick or dense or heavy. It's very lightly sweet. And it doesn't go into the gourmand territory. This is not, it's not an edible smelling vanilla. The notes that I pick up the most in here powdery vanilla, amber, and some of the musk. It's very warm and cozy, but it still wears light and soft. This is a very pretty vanilla and it's a nice one if you're looking for a soft, non-gourmand vanilla. I think it's very non-offensive. I don't think it would offend anybody around you because it's so soft and it wears close to the skin. And so that's Tanger Vinny. And it's by Aaron. This next one that I have here. This one is from Prada. And it's from the Infusions line. And it's called Infusion Devani. tinted um, tan color to the juice and a tan cap I like the bottles for the infusion line I think they're pretty
And so Infusion Devani is considered an amber woody fragrance and it was released in 2022. The top notes are vanilla, bergamot, and smoke. The mid notes are neroli and angelica. And the base note is vanilla. And this is a powdery, citrusy vanilla. It's, um, the citrus adds a bit of brightness to this. And the neroli is kind of a fresh neroli. It adds a little bit of freshness to the fragrance. The angelica that's in here, it adds a soft and subtle greenness and is probably contributing to the powderiness of the fragrance. Um, a lot of people seem to pick up the smoke in here and I don't pick up much smoke, I have to really look for it. But there is a dryness to the fragrance, so I wonder if that's kind of what the smoke is creating here. It's not a very sweet vanilla, and it's not gourmand. It doesn't smell edible at all, at least not to my nose. But it's really enjoyable. It was an instant love. And I think that it's very unisex, and it's a nice vanilla for the, the warm weather because it's, it has that um, bright citrus, citrus in here. And so that's Infusion Devani, and it's from Prada. And this next one here, this is from the Harajuku Lovers Fragrances, which is a line from Gwen Stefani. And this one is called Wicked Style. Baby. here, this is the original baby. This one is, here is a different one. This is from the Wicked Style line. But she's so cute and she's got like velvety pink hair with cute little pink So Wicked Style Baby is considered a fruity floral fragrance and it was released in 2010. The 
perfumer. It's honoring block. The top notes are peach, red apple, and freesia. The mid notes are orchid, frangipani, and jasmine. The base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and amber. And this is a powdery vanilla floral fragrance. Oh, the pad's very soft. And it has some light must to it. The florals, I don't really pick any of the florals out individually. But it does have an overall like floral smell to it. I do smell some of the peach. But... Mostly I just get a really powdery vanilla in here with some, some light musk. And it does kind of smell like what I remember my baby doll smelling like when I was a kid. This one it has surprisingly good longevity. Although it does wear close to the skin. I think it's a very, like, soft, feminine, comforting scent. I don't think they make it anymore, but I do often see it on, like, eBay and discounter sites. So it's a good one if you're looking for a powdery, like, baby doll scent. And so that's Wicked Style Baby, and it's from Harajuku Lovers. This next one that I have here, this is from Gutal, and it's called Vini Exquise. I'm guessing that means exquisite vanilla. I don't know. Gutal always has pretty packaging. And she always has beautiful bottles as well. Very elegant, sophisticated, and feminine. And so, Vinayak Squeeze uh, was launched in 2004, and it's considered an amber vanilla fragrance. The perfumers are Camille Goutal and Isabel Doyen. The notes for this fragrance are vanilla, almond, gayak wood, sandalwood, angelica, and musk. And this is another powdery, woody vanilla scent. This one smells very elegant and feminine. And it has a very soft and ethereal vibe to it. And 
There's a sweetness in here, but it's just a very light sweetness. You definitely get the vanilla and the almond in here, and they're very powdery. And the angelica is prominent as well, and it's a little bit green and herbal, and adds to the powderiness of the fragrance. And all of that kind of just sits on a bed of light woods and soft moss. This is a very beautiful, understated, and subdued vanilla fragrance. It sits very close to the skin throughout the wear. And it has moderate longevity. But it's really, really pretty and feminine. Go to one if you're looking for a um, soft, elegant, non-gourmand vanilla. I really enjoy this one. And so that's Vanillex Squeeze, and it's by Guitar. This next one here, this one is from the brand D Squared, and it's called Want. Kind of an interesting bottle. Very large round cap. It's um, almost as big as the bottle. And you can see this one is a deep dark color. I think it must have a lot of natural vanilla in it. And so, want is considered an amber floral fragrance, and it was launched in 2015. The perfumer is Arlian Guchard. The top notes for the fragrance are ginger, pink pepper, and mandarin orange. Mid notes are heliotrope, damask rose, and neroli. The base notes are Madagascar vanilla, vanilla absolute, and woody notes. And this is another powdery, woody vanilla fragrance. It's a very rich vanilla. And it's sweet, but it's not like a sugary or syrupy sweet. It's kind of like a vanilla extract type of vanilla. The heliotrope in here adds a lot of powderiness to the fragrance and it makes it cozy.
I do pick up a little bit of the rose, but it's very well blended in. Um, I think if you don't like rose, you may still like this fragrance because it's not, it's not that prominent. It does have some spiciness from the ginger and the pink pepper. And you can definitely smell the woody notes in here. And they add a lot of depth to the fragrance. I really enjoy this one because it's such a rich and cozy powdery vanilla. It's, I think it's been discontinued. I don't see it very often anymore, but I do sometimes see it on discounter sites and on eBay. It used to be a very affordable fragrance, but I think the prices may have gone up a little bit because it's discontinued. But it's a good choice if you're looking for a, a rich and cozy powdery vanilla extract type of vanilla. And so that's Want, and it's by D Squared. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was relaxing for you. I also hope to see you in my next video. Take care.